so hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel now in this video we are going to discuss about how to learn anatomy okay so there are many techniques and uh, the, the day i get a new technique i make a video on that okay so today we are going to talk about another technique and another way and i will give you a really wonderful resource that we found on the internet and i'm going to tell you how you can learn your anatomy with that okay so basically how do you learn stuff let's talk about first that like how if if i have to learn some topics then uh, how i'm going to learn the stuff so see listening in class is one thing if you want to learn it you need to encode it in yourself okay now how do you encode stuff if you can solve this mystery then you are the number one student ever okay so for encoding stuff you need some relation like uh, like uh, like in in medical in anatomy it's very easy because everything can be related clinically okay so whatever uh, is uh, clinically present and you know clinical stuff is much more interesting than the boring anatomy right so uh, you need clinical points everywhere to learn anatomy okay so today the resource which i am going to tell you uh, it is by dr yusuf uh, dr yu so uh, he has made a complete book it's a ebook you can get it um, paperback also so that uh, ebook uh, contains lots of notes of anatomy they're wonderful notes i'm going to show you it in a minute so basically what he has done that uh, he has explained everything in the form of notes and along with all the notes there is clinical stuff present okay how is clinically relevant now it is it is written in many books like in grays it is written in snell it's written but like that amount of uh, clinical stuff is not uh, written in uh, in those books okay see the thing is that they are anatomy books they are old and now the new authors are coming and the new authors are making books uh, according to the exams like and uh, the uh, techniques of, uh, of education are improving because you know earlier there was not that competition among books but now there is so every author try tries to make their book better and better okay so what whenever some new books come uh, they uh, they are some they are most of the time better than the older books okay so this one is a new book so it has a lot more things that other books didn't so like uh, i'm going to show you about fascia so when you are talking about fascia so you know that's very uh, very basic part of anatomy and uh, a lot of people don't understand but now in the uh, book he has talked about uh, uh, compartment syndrome and fasciotomy which are actually very uh, advanced and very high yield topics uh, but he has mentioned the stuff there only this will help you uh, understand the anatomy more okay uh, when i was uh, studying anatomy uh, i didn't had that kind of things and that's why i didn't score well in anatomy i guess because i really hate learning stuff and uh, so uh, this book can help you encode you know i have actually made uh, another video and i could talk i'm going to talk about i have talked about pathology how do you do that uh, you can watch the link uh, the video the link of the videos in the description and uh, this one about anatomy is also like that okay so because we do not don't have many of the questions but there are uh, videos on my channel where i have given you resources for questions also where you can find free as well as paid and there are online courses available for anatomy again free as well as paid everything is available on my channel you can watch all the videos are there okay so let me show you the book now okay so hi guys and this is uh, the amazon page okay so uh, we are going to see this is the fire anatomy and uh, and, and mnemonics and this uh, made absurdly simple by dr yu so let's see uh, how it is okay now this is by dr yusuf sakib and uh, this is the book okay and uh, so he has talked about how to use this book and okay and preface and but we will go to straight the general principles okay so let me show so this is the sample version available we are, we are only going to see the sample version because uh, looking at the showing you the full book uh, is not ethical okay so you need to get that book on your own okay so therefore there are some mnemonics but uh, there are other ways to learn stuff and you will see inside the book okay? and we are going to see it thoroughly okay so we are going to we are going to uh, first go to approach to anatomy so there are some points you should read th these uh, yourself okay because this is uh, by uh, dr yusuf okay so if i start telling you this then it it would be like uh, stealing his uh, thunder right okay so let's go to the general principle and terminology let's see so you can see that everything is explained uh, properly now this one is very simple and like uh, almost every book has the same stuff um, but you know when we come to the muscle terminology a lot of books don't contain this much uh, explanation like all the diagrams and and the naming is written okay 
and then when we talk about the wo uh, words and then this uh, this way uh, you know this way cortex exterior you will see that a lot of good uh, teachers also explain like this okay so these things uh, help us learn okay the this is a really good kind of mnemonic those uh, word mnemonics like uh, you you have to forget those words also okay so you can this way you can learn a lot of stuff okay and then everything is um, uh, written in this way these are re this is really a good way of an uh, mnemonic and this you know like when you talk about fundus and different kind of fundus this makes our concept of fundus clear I'm actually seeing this for the first time. I I have studied fundus a lot of times, like fundus of stomach, fundus in uterus, fundus in gallbladder. I have studied a lot of anatomy uh, and a lot of funduses, but all the fundi together, I am seeing this for the first time here. Okay, and then like tubercle. So therefore, you see the, all the words are explained properly. Okay, so you can see them. Okay, and then let me go to the clinical portion. Now, okay, so here we come to the fascia. This is I guess is the last page. So we don't have the systemic anatomy here because this is just the sample version. So you can see when we are talking about the fascia, I gave you this example. So he is telling you about muscle fascia. That is the deep fascia and visceral fascia. Okay, so now you see that when we talking is talking about the um, uh, deep fascia, then he is talking about the compartment syndrome and fasciotomy. So you know, and everything is written in very simple language. So you will get a lot of anatomy. Okay, if you have an anatomy in this way, then it is going to help you a lot when you study your surgery and in, as well as in your medicine and orthopedics. Okay, so you will learn a lot. Uh, it will be very easy for you. Similarly, when he is talk, talking about visceral fascia, then he is talking about adhesions and organ prolapse. Okay, and you will uh, uh, read th this stuff in uh, surgery as well as in pathology. We'll talk about additions. So you're going to study this uh, st uh, stuff uh, uh, later on. But if you have learned this all in the basics only, then it is going to help you a lot. Okay, so this is just a sample version. I can show you only the sample one, and you can get the whole book uh, um, for twenty-seven dollars, I guess. Right, uh, it's a really wonderful book. Uh, so it's twenty six point seven dollars, okay? And it you you will really enjoy, it. and this is going to help you a lot with your anatomy, okay? So this is the second edition, edition, okay? So I hope you love the book, and uh, it's available on Kindle as well as uh, available on that paperback. Okay, first of all, the author has not paid me to make video on that, okay? If you find any other resource that is wonderful, and I should know about that, and I should talk about uh, talk about that resource with people with students, then please uh, send me the resource or talk to me about that on uh, uh, admin at the rate bukeshi dot com. I'm definitely going to reply and make a video on that, okay? And I add everything when I see is uh, when I may create any video. Then I add everything on my website also bukeshi dot com. There you can find a lot of other anatomy resources that are there, and you will really find them helpful. And take care and God bless you.